Today, we've been working with Shalea on voluntary prenatal ultrasounds. Hi, I'm Kate Leach. I'm one of the veterinarians here at Zoo Atlanta. Shalea is trained and will voluntarily come up uh, for treats and present her belly. And we can get a look inside. We look at how the baby's growing. We look at how big it is. And we will look at its position, the placenta, the umbilical cord. And then we've also started to get a look as the baby's gotten bigger to look at its heart and do a prenatal echocardiogram. What's really neat is today we were also working with Diana, a human cardiac sonographer, and Shalea also worked with us to present her chest and we were able to get an echocardiogram or an, a heart ultrasound to look at her heart health in addition to getting a look at her baby today. Baby. What we just did is called baby presentation. Baby. So when Shalea has her baby and maybe we want to get a closer look at it or you kind of do a medical examination, we're going to ask for her to present the baby to us. So as you saw, she's going to push it against the mesh and we can kind of further investigate in case there's any wounds or just a normal checkup and make sure the baby is nice and healthy. We are part of something called the SSP, which regulates the genetic diversity of all gorillas in North America. We look at um, making sure genetically and personality-wise that they would be a good fit before we do put the gorillas together and take them off of birth control. The birth control the gorillas are on is an oral birth control contraceptive. It is the daily pill. They take it just because they're so similar genetically to humans. The birth plan is basically three different results of the pregnancy. Ideally, the gorillas raise it on their own. The second one would be kind of us helping. Um, so if we notice she might reject the baby, we will take it and kind of shifts and kind of give it back to her and be like, you know, we can take care of it just to make sure it's healthy and okay and try to give it back to her to build that bond. And then the last one, which we absolutely do not want to do is kind of just hand wearing it on our own, um, which is obviously not ideal. It's important that we maintain the genetic diversity and have these gorillas here at Zoo Atlanta because we want to create that connection between humans and animals to inspire conservation action. Gorillas are, depending on the subspecies, critically endangered or endangered, which means that their numbers are pretty low. So that's why we have these gorillas. We want you guys to be so awestruck by them and inspired that you want to help out their cause.